Hey, my name is Sheil, and I just made this darkroom print in my bathroom. That one too. Let me show you what I did. If you're keeping up with my videos, you're not. I just came back from a trip to Sweden, and for the first couple of days, my brother and I drove two hours north of Gothenburg to the small fishing towns of Hamburgsund and Fjallbaka. The vlog mainly featured a lot of photos from my Olympus Pen D3, which is a half-frame camera, but I also carried with me my medium format Yashica A and had a roll of HP5, which is a black and white film. We did a small hike up the Kungsliften in Fjallbaka and had a nice view overlooking the town. We've done it! The view of the city. Now that I've started darkroom printing, I knew that a few of the photos that I took from this camera, I wanted to print. This is the first one I took of the town of Fjallbaka looking over it. In my head, I thought this was the one that I was going to print. This is the money shot overlooking the town. But looking at it now, it's just a bit too busy. There's a lot going on, and there's no real main focus point. But five minutes after that, on our way back down, I saw this view overlooking the ocean and some islands in the background. So that's the one I'm going to print. Let's go. That's the one I did print. Let's go back in time to me printing it. <laughs> room, right? Arguably. Room. Bathroom, sure, but room. Dark room. Welcome. <laughs> I have chosen the print, and I think it's going to be this one. Okay, so the setup. LPL condenser enlarger. Timer to control the enlarger. Me, the, the maker of the print. Paper. Dev. Stop. Fix. Water. Hanger. And hopefully, a successful print. Let's see what that looks like. What's up? Um, welcome to my crib. First test strip. From my limited time in the darkroom, I've learned some basic practices of making some test strips to find the overall exposure that I want before trying to fiddle with contrast filters to nail the look. This first photo took me seven test strips before I tried printing the full sheet, and that's just mainly to save some paper and find the exact exposure. But I was also experimenting with split grading, which is when you use two different contrast filters to bring out the highlights and shadows differently to add more contrast to the photo. I'm still not too good at this. <laughs> I'm learning. I mean, compared to a straight print and one using contrast filters, you can definitely see a difference. So definitely something that I'm still gonna keep working on. There's a cool article down below that I was reading about it. Cool method. If you're interested, give it a look. I, it's a really interesting article about darkroom printing, if you want. <laughs> I think I've done it. <laughs> it is 12.11 in the a.m. and I do have to go to work in the morning. That's the final print right there. Where did the time go? And after over an hour in my bathroom alone, a print! Yay! This one actually, it might be my best print yet. And that's not saying a lot, because I've done maybe 10. <laughs> I think the contrast is good, it's clear. There's just so much detail. Like there's a little car down here driving. You can see some boats, there's a bird. Can't wait to put this on the wall. Yes, I'm so excited for that. So that was two days ago when I finished that. And then last night, I decided to make another because the chemicals were still fresh. And I was looking through my negatives again and decided to go with this photo of a window in our Airbnb in Hamburg. Same process as the other one. Test strips, fiddle with the contrast filters. Profit, perhaps? <laughs> so it is a six by six negative, but I decided to make it the full eight by 10 sheet of paper. Uh, the negative itself, when I took the picture, was very much off center. <laughs> So by enlarging it, I was able to kind of crop it and make the window more centered in the frame. I think it turned out great. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I put both of the prints in the frames this morning and I think they look great. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn here, but they're incredible. They're works of art. Now my next task is to figure out where to put these on my wall. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something maybe. If not, I hope you just enjoyed watching the video. If you want a more in-depth video about what I do in the darkroom and how it's done, let me know in the comments. I can be a blind man leading more blind people into this hobby. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one where I go to Gothenburg and make another print. Oh. You know they say that the thing, when you're in that zone of the thing doing it and time flies, that's what you gotta be doing. <laughs>